Uh, good morning everybody. Welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you this. Uh, this is a monitor calibration tool very kindly sent in to me free of charge by Datacolor. It's their Spider X Pro. Now uh, this is a really important piece of kit if you're uh, into your photography, videography or indeed you just want a very colour accurate screen. And having a colour accurate screen is very important because you want to be able to see on your screen what you saw with your eyes and what you took with your camera and you also want to be able to possibly print it out accurately as well and you want other people to see it in the colours that you intended. Now this allows you to use this tool on perhaps your desktop computer monitor or your laptop screen and calibrate it and get the colours looking uh, very very accurate. It's a great little tool and I'm going to show you some before and afters so you get to see what difference this makes. Uh, before I do that let's just uh, move over to have a closer look at the product. So obviously this is the product box. Uh, inside the box you get a software key so you can download the software onto your computer system and then that interacts with the actual uh, data color Spider X uh, calibrator. Uh, this is what it looks like. It comes with a nice sort of velcro bit to keep the cable tidy, plugs in via USB. Uh, this cable you would run sort of behind your monitor uh, down into your computer uh, USB socket. Now with this you can do this a few ways. You have got uh, a mount so you can mount it onto a little tripod to do the cali calibration uh, but for the most part if you're doing this with a computer screen you would open this up and this part here would go sort of behind your monitor and then this part here would lay on the monitor screen so I'll, I'll show you how you would place it in a short while on my laptop uh, and once it's in place you set the software going it runs through a series of uh, different sort of colored screens different test patterns and it adjusts your screen and creates a profile that you can then apply to your screen to get color accuracy uh, and calibration is very very important indeed extremely important so what I want to do is just I'll just bring my laptop into view uh, bear with me a second so I just want to bring my laptop into view and show you how you'd position this so basically you'd have your laptop like this you plug this into USB and then you'd lay this over the back of your screen and then you can adjust it, you can adjust the cable so that the, this back portion goes down further and then you would lay this in the centre of your screen like this up against the screen and you'd adjust this cable so that the top part this part here with the data colour logo acts as a weight so it acts as a weight behind your screen and means that this just sits very very nicely on the surface of your screen and then you set the calibration going and once the calibration's finished you end up with a profile that you can apply to your screen. So let me show you this now. So this is my standard profile with the built-in profile that comes uh, sort of built in on these laptops. And if I go to my settings, I overwrote this one here, HD709A, and this is what it looks like afterwards. So that's calibrated and then non-calibrated. I hope you're seeing this on your screen. So calibrated and non-calibrated. It makes a big, big difference. Let's go back to calibrated one more time. So this is after the calibration and then before the calibration. Brings out a lot of the detail. The colors look a lot more because it's a very contrasty photo when I took it. Uh, it makes it look a lot more uh, like what I envisaged it to be. Very, very good indeed. So that is the difference that calibration makes and I think it's a really important thing for you to consider uh, purely because uh, when you're doing video for example, so I produce a lot of video and I shoot the video how I want to see the colours, I expose it how I want to see it and then I put it onto a screen I might do some editing on my laptop and it looks different and then I put it onto my desktop computer to do some more editing and it looks different again. 
if I've calibrated all my screens with a single device, so with a device like this, if I've made that adjustment and used the profile that this generates on each of my different screens, then they should be consistent across the screens. So my laptop screen, this screen, the iMac screen should all look pretty much the same. And then when I'm adjusting colours during the edit, I know that they're going to be consistent and it's going to be how I want people to see it. So a very, very good device. Uh, really highly recommended. Uh, Data Color have been making these for a long, long time. And over the years, I can remember so many years ago having one of these. Over the years, they've really improved things. They've improved the technology. They've improved the software. Wow, it is so, so easy to use nowadays and affordable as well. Uh, so well worth checking out. Highly recommended if you need color accuracy on your screen. So videography, photography, or if you just want a color accurate monitor, then one of these is well worth picking up. So that is it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I can see plenty of you watching live. Uh, we've got uh, Ar Argentum. Hello to you uh, from Kazakhstan. Very interesting videos on your channel. Thank you very much. And I love hearing where you're watching from that really is cool so thank you for tuning in live everybody if you're new to the geek noise channel please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos and also uh, drop me a comment down below i really do like seeing the comment section the community coming together and chatting about the video so drop me a comment below as well hit the like button also there's a link down below the video to the data color website so please do check that out um, it's got plenty of uh, information about the other models that they produce because they do different uh, sort of kit forms of this particular uh, calibration tool. Also down in the video description I've left links to where you can actually purchase this product for yourself so please do check out those links as well. So that really is it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. We've got a whole week of videos planned ahead, so don't forget to subscribe. I know I've said it twice now, but some really cool videos coming up this week. Uh, so I hope to see you tuning in live for those or, or watching after the live broadcast. Have a fantastic day ahead, and I'll see you again in another video very, very soon.